Hello everybody and welcome back to Wild Flowers where yesterday Grandma did some stuff that I think she needs to explain to me. Hmm. Grandma, so uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma. Oh, yes, some tea would really hit the spot. We're going to have to go on a tea quest. Yes, we are. Right, in the meantime. <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um... I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. Compost bin. And wood. We can do that. I and think I have everything we need. Risotto. Now I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Right then. Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. <sighs> Apple? How original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. Oh, she said it was key lime. How weird. Okay, so, risotto time. Oh, now we can do all sorts on here. Coconut rice, sushi, yum. So nothing in this game. I would say that like if you are someone who struggles with um, like accessibility or that if you just generally struggle with like mini games and things like that, this is a brilliant game because it doesn't ask much of you in terms of um, skill based mini games and things like that it just just wants you to follow the story which sometimes i say for me is very refreshing sometimes but for some people i'm imagining that is almost necessary so this is a lovely game for that you can play this entire game pressing one button on your mouse i'm pretty sure i think maybe pressing escape sometimes but mostly it's left click here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Oh, yeah, and W-A-S-N-D, obviously. <laughs> so you kind of need to walk around. In fact, I'm going to see if you can click walk. I'm, I'm going to test that now. Definitely need to escape. Yeah, you can click walk. As well as WASD walk. So if you wanted to, you could pretty much play this entire game. I'm fairly certain with one mouse button. And then I think escape to get out of the old menu. Might not even need escape actually. Oh no, the watering can is empty. Those potatoes are looking better though. They might be ready tomorrow. Two days remaining. Oh, it's nice. It gives you gives you how many days are remaining. And how many it's going to make and everything. Oh, that's nice. But to actually give you those stats is uh, not always something it, that a game does. Yay. Very good. Right. So, I need to make a compost bin. Use the construction table next to the garden. Okay, let's have a look at that then. There's a construction table here. Oh, difficult of me not to notice that. I was going to check out this shed as well, wasn't I? See if we could get in there. Oh. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. 
Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all of his tools right here. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us. All right then, handy Tara. A paper press, a candle maker, a fermentation barrel, and a juice press. So these will all be quite good things, I imagine, for... Okay. Paper making might be something I could do quite early on. Alright, but anyway, I need to firstly have a look at these flower, these, uh, sorry, crop plots. So let's see, a garden bed and a compost bin. So a compost bin we'll need first. I'm going to need six pieces of wood for that. And then I'm going to need ten pieces of wood and some soil for each plant a bed plus 25 gold. Um, I haven't spent much of my gold so far. Compost bin's going to cost ten. Okay. Good to know. Let's run out here and grab some wood to start with. Seeing as I gave Grandma all the wood previously. Just think how much of this game I can play with just left click. Just as an, an aside, an amusing aside for me. But also shows just quite how uh, playable that is to to everybody. Super accessible game. And I do need to keep left click down. You may actually even have under here like some accessibility options as well. Remove the timing challenge when fishing. Embargo fish stick. I don't know what that's about. Show item name tooltips. Larger fonts. Advance through the dialogue manually. I'm okay not to do that at the moment. Um, if I do find I'm skipping a lot of it, I might turn that one on. Um, achievements. Help request tutorials. You can just do that as well. Um, I do find WASD just more comfortable and easier because I'm just so used to it from other games, but I think that's fantastic. I think it's a really good thing that you can play this game. I think you could play it one-handed quite easily. I'm all out of strength. I could uh... eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, Tara. Let's have, let's go get some. See, to get out of there, you can click out of there. Okay, interesting. So into your bag, cream of mushroom soup, eat. Out, out. Yeah, you can play this entire game just with your left click. I'm fairly certain. Right, I probably have enough wood at this point to do the things I need to do. So let's build ourselves a compost bin. And turn it around. Oh, you can take it away. Okay. Or you can put it down. Oh, I see. You click and drag. Right, okay. Uh, 
feel like there might be good and then I could have like three crops beds there. Yeah. Yep, that feels good. That feels good to me. So let's get out of there. And I guess I need to make soil out of weeds. Okay, do I? I don't have any weeds. Gotta be some around somewhere, right? Like, like these guys. Is that, is that a weed? That's a thistle. It might count as a weed. I don't know. That looks like a weed. Yeah, okay, that's what we're looking for. There's not a lot of them around, though. Some games are absolutely covered in weeds, and this one, not so much. I'll head up the hill, see if we can find any up there. Maybe we'll find more in the woodlands if I know what I'm looking for. No more thistles. Maybe I do need to go back to the woods then. I also need to go down to the ocean and try and catch the fish that uh, Bruno was asking for. Oh yes, that's the mine hasn't been opened up yet. and have a little chat to some of the villagers. I'll just chat to them kind of organically as I would if I was walking around and saw a friend. That's kind of how I'm going to deal with this one. And however much friendship I have with people at the end of that, uh, then that's however much I end up with. So what's this? A witch weed. I love that Tara doesn't know she's a witch and she's having to find out. Oh, wow, I can't believe there's so few weeds around the place. Oh no. I'll have to see what you can find in the woods. Okay, I can have a little chat to. Have you met my boo yet? Angus? His shop is right next door. That is so nice. You must never get sick of each other, since you live and work so close together. <laughs> nope. Why, did he say something like that? I, I mean, Francis, Francis does okay? like his quiet time. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes things you can't really explain we gotta look out for one another yeah gotta look out for one another let's see who's in the let's see who's in the tavern this time of night damon is here hey have you tried kim's butcher shop yet there was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along now kai and i can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends that's nice isn't it good job kim Right, let's have a chat to Kim. I like Hazel. She reminds me of my grandmother. When I came out, my dad had a hard time with it. Obasan told him to get over himself. <laughs> <laughs> I really miss her. Aww. So, what's your favorite wave you have ever surfed? Bra! That's like asking me to pick my favorite child. <laughs> But Pavones in Costa Rica is like the longest longboard wave. It just goes on forever. Pure bliss, man. I imagine like it would be a real rush if you like if you were not like me and totally like balance challenged. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. Uh, but it, but being able to sort of I can ride a bike, for example, and being able to just like whiz around on a bike feels really nice to me. And a motorbike and like so imagine like riding a wave if you can actually catch it and balance properly feels amazing i imagine that's the same with skiing i can't do any of those i just can't balance well enough my i don't have i maybe my muscles aren't strong enough to support my balance but you know that's the way juliet told me you said hello to her thank you that girl is so shy well Aww. teenagers have a lot going through their heads 
It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. Mm. Her father passing so unexpectedly hasn't helped. Right, so her husband passed away and used to be the mayor of the town. Okay, good to know, Sophia. Um, Bruno's around, I can chat You should Bruno. come out on my oh. boat some afternoon, Tommy. No one's called me Tommy since I was a kid. Besides, I can't watch someone while they're fishing. Makes me sick and heart sore. Your dad never said no to an afternoon of fishing. <sighs> Here's Tara. Ask her instead. Uh. Don't go changing the subject. Now, why don't we just make it happen? Poor Tom. Thomas. Hi, it's me again. I've been trying to help out my grandma, but I don't know much about farming at all. Yep. Like I said, not so easy. Hazel's got some of the best soil on the island. Shame for it to go to waste. Look, city girl, just water your plants and you'll do fine. Being a bit nicer now. Right, well, I never managed to go and fish up that uh, sea bass, so I'm going to see if there's any ocean fish around at the moment, and we'll hand that into Bruno. It's lucky for me that Bruno is always at the pub, because that means I can always find him. <laughs> See what I find. Oh, okay. quick. If you want to catch a sea bass, don't reel in this small common fish. Wait for the bigger bit fish to bite. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now we go for the big fish. Ah, so you can see which ones are biting the hook. So there is a little bit of strategy to it, which is nice. A dark salt water fish with rows of sharp teeth. An epic catch. Sell it to Bruno or cook with it. Gross. I love the fact that the, sea, the fish always have gross on them. <laughs> yeah, I find that amusing. Hey, Kim. Oh, uh, Bruno's gone. Maybe gone home. It's getting quite late, so maybe I should go home. Oh, I like that the clock tower chimes. Maybe I should go home. I never managed to find the whole <laughs> the whole day. I never managed to find my second weed, did I? <laughs> Let's have a look and see if I can find something. I was on my way to the woods and then and then stuff happens. Oh, I need to go to bed. Okay, well, well, we'll find the second weed in the morning. I guess. I was supposed to do that today, but oh well. Oh, maybe I'll just leave Grandma till the morning too. Should I go to bed? Also, I got like so involved in stuff, I never went and got the stuff for her tea. <laughs> so... Not an entire waste of a day, but... I should be more careful with my time in future, I think. I've got a feeling this game only gives you, like, um... Do we have a calendar? You only get to, like, the end of the, the main story or something to do everything, so... Gotta be a bit careful. Great job. Now we just need to fill it with weeds and let it work its magic. Then we can start making garden beds. Lovely. Make three garden beds. We can definitely do that and that will fit perfectly. So I need to find tea. Where am I going to find tea? Made with moonflowers. Use the stove in the kitchen to brew the tea. Oh, okay. I could have done that the whole time. Yay. Go me. Brew tea? Where's the tea? Smoothie. Tea. Go. Right, let's talk to Grandma about the, the stuff going on. Mm. 
Oh, my. Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basement that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Okay, let's go under the trapdoor. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Trapdoor under the rug. And she rolled the rug back. Nice detailing. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh, is that mm -hmm. a cauldron? Not just any cauldron, your cauldron. What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. Oh, it's I feel test? as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Wait, wait, wait. is Dad a witch or, 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 or warlock or... Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, no, honeybee. He's more conventional, I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall. So you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh, kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch away? to make your first uh, wand. Wand! Wonderful! Discover Grandma's basement. It's not moonshine. Right, show. Question. What do we do next? I do need to go and find weeds, but I really didn't get many of them. So um, I need to go and find Bruno. We need to go to the Silver Willow. I need to plant... Uh, I need to, sorry, water my potatoes and get more seed beds going. This is just not very weedy yet, you know? Oh, there's something in my mailbox today. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. We hope to meet you soon. Ever yours, the Fair Haven Coven. Guys. Mm. Yeah, so far I found like one weed. So if that's how fast I can do things, that's gonna be a problem. But yeah, there's a couple here today actually. That's enough for maybe two or three, maybe three, but maybe just two beds. Maybe I can make the third one tomorrow when more weeds have grown. We shall see. But that's definitely enough for a couple of them. Right, so garden bear. No, we can't do that yet. We need to put the weeds into the compost bin, don't we, first? Obviously. So I'll get one in 24 minutes. Okay, so we'll run around. We'll do our, our other little jobs. So uh, finding Bruno and going to the willow. I'll just go this way, I think, today. worry too much about talking to everybody all the time that's how the, I didn't progress the story yesterday <laughs> Oops. and yet again it's 11 o'clock 11 o'clock is clearly my favorite time um, Bruno is not yet so is it a day where it's closed it's closed on a Friday Monday yeah, so it's closed today. So I'm going to either find Bruno at the beach or in the woods. So I'll try the beach first. 
And then if he's not there, we'll head to the woods because we need to head to the woods anyway. Oh, such a good cat. Best cat. Gonna be my cat. I can feel it in my bones. Let's see if we see Bruno along the beach here. There's a coconut. I will pick that up. Because I am a massive hoarder in games like these. And some shells. And there's bananas here. And there's seaweed. But there is not a Bruno. Unless there is a Bruno on this dock bridgey thing here. That's oh, just a bridge up to the lighthouse. The lighthouse looks very messed up right now. It's not so good, is it? I need to sell these shells. You don't just have a cell box. Oh, Bruno was here the whole time. Oh, would you look at that beauty? What would you like for your prize? I would like a shower. <laughs> Nah, smelling like cut bait is part of the life. You'll get used to it. Speak of bait, here's some more. I've given you three different kinds of bait. Give them all a try. Nice. You'll catch different fish in different water. Happy angling! Hooray! Fish stew can be now crafted in my kitchen. I'll carry on picking up the shells. What else did I have to do today just to make my wand? Wait for my potatoes. And make the garden beds. Yeah, okay. Oh, quick! Yeah! Let's see what I catch. I caught a soul. Gross. <laughs> so what fish have I got now? Let's have a look in my little in my little gardening tool shed, hobbies, clothing, crafting, cooking, oven. There's a lot of stuff to unlock. So so far I've unlocked the soul and the sea bass in the ocean. There's fish in places that don't even know exist. P possibly the mine would be uh, maybe a fishing place. Hmm. Why don't I try fishing with a worm? Let's see if the little lobster thing bites. Oh, quick! No, I don't want that one. I want the lobster. It's a shrimp! Gross. <laughs> Sorry, I love that way too much. That's way too funny a joke. For me. Far too funny. Let's go and make my wand. Yeah, those of you that said I would love this game knew, knew me well. <laughs> Hi! Oh, I meant to ask you, have you met Parker the carpenter yet? He really helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members. I need to know more about your your religion before I can decide whether or is it a religion even your message before I uh, before I commit to you. Just so you know, if you ever get run down, go see Amira. She fixes me up every time I have a bad wipeout. You could also go for Surfer Boy or Bar Boy. It's cool that you're helping Hazel with the farm. Are you uh, planning to take it over one day? 
I still don't even know if I can make a single seed sprout. <laughs> Give it time. When my pa ran the bar, I used to make a mess every time I tried to help out. And look at me now. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to the woods. Which is all the way over here. Could speak to Mayor Otto. Oh, I can't get this way. Ah, it's annoying. I should be able to. Grr. I have to go all the way up and round. Makes no sense. Why would they block it off? I want a horse. <laughs> I want to go faster. I need speed boots. No, I'm a witch. Of course I need a broom. Brooms are where it's at, right? Okay, so I'll pick up some bits and bobs around here. Maybe I'll find some weeds. I'm mostly finding mandrakes and things, though. The woods are far too magical to grow weeds, right? The special silver birch tree. Violet's secretly a witch, too. The silver willow. Silver willow tree in the woods. Well, you look like a special, special tree. Yeah, there we are. It's not very silver, though, is it? Uh, let's see. The inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? Wow! Only because she said uh, please. Uh, thanks, magic tree. <laughs> Basic wand. Done. Show grandma the wand. Mm. Uh, pots and potatoes. Okay. So basically we need to go back home now. And I can show grandma my wand and I can go and see if my composter has finished composting. But yeah, I don't know if there's... Um, I'm trying to find out if there's like a calendar anywhere. A map. We've got to do, residence, crafting, cooking, fish. Do we have seasons even? We might not. I mean, no, we must do because it's there's crops, right? Bulletins. Oh, right, so there's like a little request board. Like calciums, cauliflower, kipper, some herring. Oh, I have some shells. I could take that and give that into Sophia. Is there time limits on them? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, cool. Make a bit of money from the shells I picked up on the beach. Oh, there's another weed. We need to pick up weeds wherever we see them. How's this going? Yeah, it's 24 real life minutes, so <laughs> it's gonna take a bit. Well, that's fine. I am patient. Um, I feel bad to wake you up, Grandma, but this is important. Is your wand ready? Yes. Look. <laughs> Careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Sure. Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through. So this incantation 
helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. Read the incantation to the Bramble Gate. Go. No time like the present. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Oh, I had worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. Gorgeous. Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. Okay. I have been rewarded with a boost harvest potion. Now speak to the Farseer. I can make that out of my cauldron. Okay, Farseer, let's have a chat. Are you the Farseer? What? Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. No, I'm nearsighted, Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You've no idea who I am. I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to see exactly who that is. guessing games? Or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up, and there won't be much left to you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? She's oh, frightened down. Will be revealed. Make scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. So, um... Yeah, if I have a look at my relationships tab, it'll show me. It's, uh, so it's, what, what is his name? Shel I think it's Shelby, right? I think that there's a possibility that Vanessa might be the High Priestess. Don't know, though. Don't know. Sebastian's sister. Interesting. I didn't know Sebastian and Violet were brother and sister. That's cool. Uh, anyway, apparently I need to make lots of paper now. Fantastic. So we've just unlocked the coven area. So the only area that we now don't have is the f bridge that we need to fix to cross just above the farm. Okay, nice. I can hand in my shells. I need to make some paper. We still need to make, wait for the potatoes. I think they'll be ready tomorrow. And we need to continue building the garden beds. That's fine. Who else can we chat to? Hey! Welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. We meet every night. Why have I got a suspicion that that is 
Um, maybe. Parker. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, your magicalness. High Priestess works fine, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, High Priestess, how long has this coven been in Fairhaven? Witches have always been drawn here, and because of that, the coven has been here for many, many generations. Who are you guys? I welcome you to this gathering. Hey! You can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet you. But I'm not supposed to speak to you much yet. Yeah, I can't tell. I can't tell. The Farsi is the only one I can really tell. Um. Alright, so... Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to get all the way back in time, but... Uh, poor old... Poor old grandma is like spending all that time away as well. Uh, let's get some moonflowers on the way past. And run to bed. I don't know if my stamina will be affected by this tomorrow or whether there's a pass out time in this, so I need to just get going. It takes about two hours to get all the way from the coven to grandma's house as well. Grandma, how did you get there so fast? Witchy, witchy nonsense, no doubt. Cheating. Witchy cheating. <laughs> Spells. So, uh, let's head into our house. And go to bed. That was a fun day. That Time was really bed. interesting. That was really cool. Yes. Time for a bed, absolutely. Crops will be ready in the morning. And new seed beds will hopefully be ready in the morning. I don't know whether sleeping will speed that oh along good. at all. You're up. The mayor's called a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. Do you think it's some kind of trouble? Ah, uh, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. Follow Grandma to the town hall. Right. Grandma's going to walk so slowly that I probably got time I to... I follow Grandma to the town. Ah! <laughs> ah. Come on, Grandma. You can do it. She kind of does walk fast. She walks faster than Parker. <laughs> And if I see Sophia around, I think I need to give her the... I better follow Grandma to the town hall. There's the town hall this way. Settle right down, then. everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings on in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Me neither. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah and folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset. Yes, yes, good. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this. No matter the cause, we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for roustabouts and unsavory types. I ask all of you to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief. And if you see anything, report it to me. Or me, if you'd prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never! Mayor Otto, soft on business, <laughs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his fancy britches wife standing up there and casting judgment on okay, others. Okay, so maybe not. Oh, 
You're even better than I thought. He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors, to be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other? I wish it were that simple. But just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due, and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? No, <laughs> heavens no. <laughs> but if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Okay, well, I'll try and give them a boost. I've got four beans going already. Um, so... Incantation Vexation. Potatoes. Beans. And crop plots. Let's have a chat to see. I need to make a special effort oh, to chat man. to Kai. Alan is killer today. And not in a good way. I'll be glad when it's summer, and I can give my inhaler a vacation. I didn't know you had asthma. Yeah, but it's not as bad as when I was a kid. My mom used to hover over me every time I sneezed. I think Amira is one of the... It looks like Kai is really getting to know Tara. Keep an eye out for him around the island at different times, and something special might happen. Oh, okay. Might get a cutscene. Francis! Hola. Hey, new girl, how's farm life treating you so far? I'm still figuring everything out. Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one thing, but sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. Okay. So we're nowhere near with, with Francis, but uh, it looks like we managed to get a heart possibly with Kai. Oh no, not even, not even a heart, but it's saying that I'm getting to know him better. So... That's probably, that's probably my cue that there's a cutscene outstanding somewhere for him. Follow him around all day, please. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can find Sophia. Just hand that in, because that'd be a bit, a bit of extra money for us, won't it? So Sophia may well be in the bakery if it is open at the moment, which I think it isn't, sadly. Oh no, that's Kim's. Okay. It's the other side, isn't it? Uh, okay, nothing happening right now. I just Oh hello! I have your I have your quest, your shells. Jeez Louise, Tara. Are you sure? Ha, I didn't think anyone would actually find this for me. Jeez Louise. A lot of people in Scotland say that. A lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of people saying that around me. So, when did you and Grandma start trying to outbake each other? We'd appreciated each other's skills ever since I moved here. That was, what, 17 years ago. But when Giacomo was diagnosed, Hazel formally challenged me to a bake-off. She said it'd take my mind off things, oh, and you know, so good. she was right. Hey Bruno, can we have a chat? I think Lena's kids must have messed with the doors of the schoolhouse. She sure was at a temper last night. Was muttering something about the locks. Hmm. I'm gonna go and speak to Lena and find out what happened. I love that Juliet plays the guitar. I pick the guitar. Not as well as she does though. <laughs> so, how are your parents? Oh, um, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Dahl. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Wow, was hoping to know more about what the kids did at the school, but uh, that was some serious stuff. Wow. Hey there, new girl. 
pass a message to Hazel for me? As long as it's appropriate. Tell her that during my last shift, I didn't break a single glass. What? It's been a goal for a long time. <laughs> See, the thing um, with the dialogue with the characters in this is that it's um, actually very engaging because they've done a good job of writing lots of different dialogue. Kim, what are you up to? I took care of my Obasan when she got sick too. I'm really grateful I was able to have that time with her. But make sure you take care of yourself, okay? It's easy to forget to eat when you're in caregiver mode. That's true. Yeah, I'm enjoying talking to them. So what are we doing at the moment? Paper, potatoes, crops and beans. All stuff that needs to be done back at the... I did think I was heading back, but uh, sometimes it's nice to know whether you've missed something that's maybe needing to be done around the town. So I think today I can grab a piece of compost and we can put some more compost in. That means that I can make myself another garden bed. Oh, I need more wood. Okay, we'll do that in a second then. I'll water the beans and I think I need to harvest the potatoes. And actually then I could immediately plant some more beans. So I've got enough... I've got enough beans for the, the quest and also another garden bed and I've got more bean seeds so I may as well put them in. So let's go and chop a little bit of wood. And make myself some more planters. pick the things off the floor individually well, it's not so much of a thing anymore is it right I should be able to make one now I think I'm gonna pop it there and then that one needs more compost and we need 10 more wood and 25 points so I've got enough for that but for now I'm just going to don't pack the soil too tight now. You'll choke the seedlings. Oh, hello, Thomas. I didn't hear you. That's nice. That's because I don't wear big, clumpy boots like you city folk. Anyway, <clears throat> not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. Carrots! <laughs> Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well, she's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. Hi then. So let's put carrots in here then. I think. Oh, are they a summer crop? Grown in spring. There we are. Oh no! My watering can is dry! Okay, so my compost bin is making more compost. I'll be ready in 20 minutes. What else are we doing? Take the things to Grandma. We're making a paper. Yes, let's make paper. Paper press. I need six wood for that. Okay. I'll take the potatoes to Grandma and then I'll go get five more wood. Where is Grandma? Off doing Grandma things, I guess. Off socialising. <laughs> 
I need this log as well. I'm all out of strength. Every day. I could eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. Let's still pick up the wood though. Is there any, any around that I can just pick up? Or do I need to eat? I think I might need to eat. Okay, never mind. Let's see what's in my bag and I'll eat. It's a mushroom soup. Okay, let's see if I can carry on now. Yeah, there we are. We were one strike away from having it as well. And then I wouldn't have needed to eat my soup. How annoying. But let's head back in here and make a paper press. There. Lovely. Uh, I guess we can make some paper. Okay, it's an immediate thing, I think. So I just need two more logs, two more pieces of wood. So if I can find a log on the ground, that would probably be about right for it. There's one piece. Perfect. Right, let's get the second piece of paper done and that is that quest finished. And we can find out more about the mysteries of the Witch's Coven. Love a good mystery, personally. Right, so that's my two pieces of paper. My four potatoes. I can't do that. I'm waiting on the crops and I'm waiting on the beans. If you want to grow these beans super fast, a certain potion might help you. So let's go down to the... Um, if grandma's still not back. I think we might hand those in tomorrow. Let's go down to the basement and let's go and see if I can make a potion. So let's have a look. Harvest boost potion. I need mandrake and conch, which I have. And that will be made in eight minutes. Okay. Nice. Mm, is it bedtime yet? I feel like I've done everything I need to do today at the moment, unless I want to go down to the pub. Or try and find where that where that sneaky grandma's gone. Or go out to the woods. But it takes so long to walk to the woods. I need fast travel. Or a broom. I do like the storage so far has not been any kind of issue in this game. You just store everything in your inventory and that's just it. That is a very nice part of the management in these games that you don't normally get to skip. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So I'm quite enjoying that, that side of it as well. Sometimes I do like to have more complicated sort of games and sometimes I like to have easier ones. It's nice to have a, have a sort of a... Have a change. So grandma is out here at night with her coven friends. We must reveal ourselves to the rest of the town someday. It's the only way we can really be one community. I'm I'm intrigued as to who all the people are. Um, but I'm guessing I can't yet hand in the potatoes. We'll do that in the morning then. That's fine. Great. Just what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations of spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. 
The next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. I've had a hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. <sighs> Catch squid for the Farseer. Why? Unclear. I see. Thanks, Farseer. Love you too. Oh, now I can apparently... You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. But actually writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh no. No, no, the coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring. The source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it than we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on and offer something to the wellspring. Over time, you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. Okay, give an offering to the Wellspring. I bet it likes Witchweed or Mandrake or Moonflower. I bet it loves Moonflower. Oh, so now I can cast spells? Cool! Careful. We must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron, and we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay, I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. Ooh. So, very next day. Oh no, the cauldron is broken. Oh no, the cauldron is out of balance. Ooh. Flags flying up everywhere around that uh, particular situation, huh? Grandma, do you want these potatoes yet? She doesn't, does she? Right, anyway, we need to get home. Can I go this way? What's up here? I mean, that looks like it should be totally a fast travel point. Mm-hmm, 100%. <laughs> Grandma's on the way home. Oh, we can now hand the potatoes in. Lovely. There you are. Thank you enough for helping out here, sweetheart. Are the potatoes ready to harvest? Yep. Here they are. Yes, Grandma. Here's four potatoes from the field. Ooh, wonderful. Maybe you've got a greener thumb than you thought. Why don't you take them down to the general store and sell them? I'm sure Lena will give us a fair price for them. Nice. Go and sell them to Lena. I will do that in the morning. Let's run all the way back home. Maybe I'll have time to pet the cat on the way. Come here! I mean, how could you resist purrs like that? So beautiful. Getting late, I should get to bed soon. I'm trying! It's not my fault it took me two hours to run here and two hours to run back. Town is very sleepy at night, huh? 
Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get my second planter up and running and then maybe the next day we'll get my third planter up and running. Those compost bins are super slow. Slowest compost bin in the world. So we'll do one more day. Oh, I ran out of time. Okay, so I think I need to be back by two. What happens when I run out of time? I, I should, should get, get myself to bed earlier, earlier today. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can cook anything out of the stuff that I've gotten. So I think it's telling me like... Substitution, so oh, I see. Okay. Make sushi if I had rice. Coconut rice, cream cheese, cauliflower soup, Moroccan carrot, fish stew. Bread, fish fingers, restorative tea. I can make that. Berry smoothie? Can't make that. Okay. Good to know. Grandma, hello. How you doing? Tell me, honeybee. Does Arthur mind that you left your job in the city to come help me? Well, I didn't really leave my job. My job left me. Our site got acquired, but the new parent company just wanted our subscriber list, not our editors. Maybe Dad wishes I was using my degree in a new job in the city. But then who would help you here? He's not going to come do farm work. <laughs> That's for certain. Your father has the blackest thumb I've ever known. Even when he was a boy. Oh, we were sad when he left, but the garden sure wasn't. Okay, let's head outside and do our little bits in the garden. Let's get that, that to increase in size if we can. So, an hour and 40 remaining makes one compost. So we don't have any soil yet. I can water my plants though. Oh, and it looks like I can collect some of my green beans. Wonderful. So I've still got carrots and more green beans. I'll put more green beans down. And then we'll put more carrots down as soon as we can. And I need to go and sell my potatoes today. Hello, little cats. Oh, hey there, kitty. Do you belong with my grandma? Meow. Oh, you're a good kitty. Grandma, you didn't tell me you have a cat. A cat? <laughs> the last cat I had was old Shadow, rest his soul. He wasn't much to look at, but he was a darn good mouser. This cat isn't yours? <laughs> she seems awfully familiar with your garden. <laughs> oh, no. I don't own that cat. What a notion. She's a good friend to have around, though. So play nice. Aww. That's cool. Um, yeah. Not to forget to water things because I got interrupted by a cute kitten. The amount of things I forget to do in my life because I get interrupted by a cute kitten, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's... So I've got to catch a squid and sell potatoes. Okay, we can do that. Oh, do I have a hint on that though? There's way more beads around now, which is wonderful. Um, let's see, what, what's the hint? What's the hint on the squid? Beach with chub, okay. You can kind of tell from the shadows what you're gonna catch. A little bit, anyway. So to the beach we go. Let's see what I can find. They look like two tiny fish. Oh, so tiny fish. I don't know whether I'll find it amongst tiny fish. Like that or not. Uh 
That looks potentially a bit better. Yeah, let's uh, try and fish with Chubb here. See what we get. So we got a whiting, that's a new one. And we've got two kind of lobstery things. You gonna bite? Oh, quick! Got one. I probably shouldn't be fishing up everything, but I may be able to buy more chub. A sardine. To be honest, it means it does mean I'm finding more things. More different types of fish, which is nice. But I don't think we're catching that squid today, sadly. find one along this part of the beach but no doesn't seem like it so we'll head over to Lena's um, and of course it's closed on a Sunday and of course it is a Sunday right so we can't sell those until tomorrow tavern's gonna be open in a minute though So, the schoolhouse here, is that where you went to school? Sure did. That's when the other Mrs. Soff, Otto's mom, was the teacher. She was a free spirit. Liked to hold class out on the beach. It's funny Otto turned out the way he did, given his parents. Hmm. I do wonder then. How's the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not that much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing, becoming run down. And caring for them takes a lot of time. That's true. Who know? I sure wish Vanessa would pick a different profession. I think it's making it not like kids so much. And I want grandchildren someday. I remember how much fun you and Hazel had when you were small. I can't help but hope to have that too. Right, let's try another little bit of fishing. See if we can get this squid. I don't know if a squid is a big fish or a little fish. I'll see if I can get this big fish to bite. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a dab! This is my last chub though, and then I might have to buy some more or find some more somewhere. sardine again so I've had various types of fish now uh, if I look at my little fish menu I've had one two three four five different ocean fish six different ocean fish which is pretty good but we have not found a squid that's probably the squid there I don't really know what I'm looking for to find the squid either so I'll pick up some forageables. I'll try and see if I can sell them at all and uh, maybe use that to help with some things. I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to sell, which is sad times. But I feel like in two episodes, we've done a lot. We've started getting the farm back up and running. We've got veggie plots. We've had our first harvest. 
We found out loads of stuff about the coven. We've had that town meeting. There's been all sorts of stuff happening. It's been wonderful. I wonder if there's anything else I can make in my shed. If I had some wood. Just so I've got a little bit of time on my hands, you see, so. Candle maker. Uh, that looks way beyond me right now. A juice press, way beyond me. Uh, oh, they all require metal with the exception of the paper press. Okay, I could try and make some paper. There we go. Oh, nice. That's ready. So I'm going to need to go and get myself... Oh, I'm really out of stamina right now. I'll get myself some more wood so I can make another plot. Um, that might be something to do first thing in the morning. I'll put two more weeds in because I think we could still have one more farm plot here just down at the bottom before having to expand out in any way. And then I think I'm going to go to bed. And then I think I'm going to end the episode there. I think it's going to take us into a very, very long territory if I try and do another day. So I think we'll we'll get into a new, brand new week. Brand new Monday. Am I ready for bed? Yeah, we're ready for bed, I think. Night, Tara. I'll see you next time. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.